What's up everyone, Maximilian here, and I had kind of an interesting thing happen the other day. Um, essentially, Tekken Tag 2 is now out, it's totally awesome. The online play is really good, and I'll get into that in a second, um, but this actual match you're watching right now was the very first ranked match I got into. I think it was yesterday around 2 or 3 o'clock when I finally booted up the online mode for the game. And, uh... Believe it or not, I come into the cross's name Giant Bombing, and if you guys have never heard of this website, check out GiantBomb.com. They're literally one of the best video game journalism publications you can check out with a lot of awesome videos and, like, video content every day. They're really good at what they do, and they're including, like, Ryan Davis, Brad Shoemaker, and Jeff Gerstmann. And I guess this is who I, uh, I was going up against because Jeff ended up putting up the, uh, the review for Tekken and Tech and Tag Tournament 2 gave it a, I think, a very deserving 4 out of 5. Um, I think that's what the reviews, for the most part, are hovering at right now. Some of it, some of them are giving them, like, 7s, and I don't agree with that. I think 4 out of 5 is actually a pretty good score for this one. Nonetheless, it just blew my mind that I ran into one of the giant bomb guys um, for my first ranked game. I actually couldn't believe it. Uh, if you guys ever check out GiantBomb.com, they're really popular for their uh, podcasts and stuff like that. And Jeff Gerstmann is also one of the most notable video game journalists out there. This will also give you a quick idea, and I kind of wanted to go over, before I make the final review, the impressions of the online play. Um, and I've had the opportunity to go up last night with the open lobby, uh, a few guys like Mark Mann, some really good notable players, and that's the thing, for the most part, everyone that's playing this game right now is ridiculously good, and I was following Jeff on Twitter, um, soon after this fight, and I realized that he was saying the same thing, that everyone online in this game seems to be, like, amazing. Like, everyone essentially has juggle combos until you die. And it's kind of the case, and the big reason being, if any of you guys are just getting into Tekken right now, is because Tekken Tag Tournament 2 borrows a heavy, 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 heavy influence from Tekken 6. It's practically an expansion rebalancing of Tekken 6, surprisingly. Most of the characters' combos, juggles, bound moves, and finishers that you did in the first game will apply to this one, and the, the overall game balance is much different because of the tag mechanic, but for the most part, it's uh, very, very, very similar to Tekken 6. So guys like me that kind of miss the uh, kind of miss the Tekken 6 hype train or miss the Tekken 6 opportunity to play the game. I really played a lot of Tekken 5, played a lot of Tekken Tag 1. I, I don't think any of that translates any more to these games, really. And uh, much less do I remember how to play those games, because that was literally 10 years ago, if not more, uh, the last time I really played Tekken heavily. So uh, the thing is with this game, I will definitely say it, and I've said it many times on Twitter before, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I think, is the best Tekken game ever released as far as like features and as far as uh, online component and just being a full set. The online component in this game is great because it performs optimally. It performs extremely well with higher ranked, uh, not higher ranked, but uh, higher connect connectivities like four and five bars, which is the maximum. And even at lower connection rates like three, two, and one, it's still playable. I think that's one of the most important things when it comes to a fighting game is that the connection still needs to be playable even at not desired connection uh, connection requirements. And surprisingly, Namco has found something very good to make this happen. Sadly, the graphics in the game kind of suffer a bit because of it. I think they actually have to lower the resolution in some situations, especially for online play. Like, there are certain NPCs missing in the background of some stages, but I'm totally fine with that as long as the netcode runs good. And it does run really good, so I'm going to have a uh, full netcode review where we're going to put the online system of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 up against other games like it, like, you know, Soul Calibur 5, other games like Persona, other games like Street Fighter. As much as it's not good to compare, like, the fighting game engines to other fighting games, the features, I think, can definitely be uh, compared to others because it's where areas of improvement that you can kind of emphasize. I think fighting games online infrastructure and how you play fighting games online, not just the netcode, can severely change, and it can actually get a lot better from what we have now. And things like, uh, the World Tech Confederation are a step in the right direction, so be sure to stay tuned, guys, and hopefully enjoy a couple of the very first two ranked matches I had on Tech, and this was the first time I was actually going up against a real opponent, so uh, my apologies if I am not the best at Tech and Tag Tournament 2, much less Tech and 6, but there is a lot of guys out there that are dedicated to helping people get into the game, new players alike, like Eris for uh, AvoidingThePuddle.com and LevelUpYourGame.com with Rip and MYK, so check those guys out if you're looking for some, some more extensive footage other than the stuff I'll be offering on this channel. My name is Maximilian, and enjoy the rest of the fight, guys. I'll be back with more online ranked and player matches very soon. Take care, folks. Yeah. Wow.
three. Fight! Chicken. Oh. 